when we heard what was going on, we kind of decided to be proactive and come up with, with a plan for here and, and some of our other restaurants for how we could uh, survive short term and, and long term. And so uh, we developed a takeaway menu, um, which we released the night that lockdown happened. Um, really successful, we couldn't cope, had to get Uber involved on the, on the driving front. Um, we also opened a bottle shop, so we went round and drove round to the local breweries and got cans and bottles so that people could come in because the supermarkets were, were difficult to get into off licenses and stuff had closed. So we we're still giving them the booze that, that people wanted. Got a load of baked goods from, from local bakeries that, alongside some of the stuff that, that, that we did and just kind of gave them a, a reason to, to have that opportunity to come out once during the day that they were allowed. We wanted it, their stop to be here so they could get a few convenience goods as well as hopefully getting some food uh, delivered in the evening. We knew that it was going to be a difficult time and we wanted to, to give the, the local community who have been so good to us over the couple of years that we've been here, um, hopefully a reason to, to drop in here as opposed to having to go to, to one of the big chain supermarkets down the road and thankfully um, a lot of people made the decision to, to come and support us in that. We've got a, a Christmas menu plan should people be able to come in, so whether that's just the same households, whether they can mix, whether we can have tables or bigger, whether we can do groups of outside catering, everything's ready. Uh, it's just which, which plan we, we kind of are allowed to implement and if any of the plans are allowed to be implemented really. Next year it's just a case of being able to, to continue to, to adapt to whatever's thrown at us, but hopefully some normality. Um, and then taking the, the positives out of what we found to be good business during this, this period and, and still being able to hopefully utilise them in the, in the coming year. Hi, I'm Alan Dib. I work at Beavers Butchers in Masson. Uh, we're currently operating a one-in-one-out system. Uh, so, on that note, we've started doing a lot of home deliveries. First lockdown, we were really busy. Uh, second lockdown, it's quietened off a bit because there hasn't been that many people about really on the streets. 